After Donald Trump was indicted in Georgia, Hillary Clinton appeared on MSNBC with a smile on her face, and that outraged Fox News. So today, they melted down. That everyone is well aware of in this country, but it doesn't get better with moments like this. When this fourth indictment came down, this was the reaction last night at MSNBC as she was being interviewed. Watch. Madam Secretary, fancy meeting you Oh, I can't believe this. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) this is not the circumstances in which I expected to be talking to you. Nor me, Rachel. It's always good to talk to you, but honestly, um, I didn't think that it would be under these circumstances. Yet another set of indictments. A lot of glee, um, a lot of smiling and laughing about this fourth indictment, which is obviously no laughing matter for uh, anybody who is involved in it, uh, Tommy. It, it, uh, in fairness, they went on to say she said she doesn't feel that she felt profound sadness about what had happened after, you know, she after the smile uh, was uh, off of her face. Yeah, it's no doubt she is gleeful about this, but hatred is also obsession, and Hillary Clinton happens to be obsessed with Donald Trump. So are the folks over at CNN and MSNBC, because they have something to talk about. They loved when Donald Trump was president, whether they're willing to admit it or not, because they could talk about him day in and day out and how much they hate him, how obsessed they were over him. And this just gives them more fodder for their laughter. But it's a dark day for our country, whether you think Donald Trump is guilty or not, whether you don't like the man, you don't like his policies, you don't want him to be president again. It's it's a dark day for our country when you have one, two, three, four indictments of a foreign uh, of a former president. This is unprecedented. So this is a, a dark time in American history, whether you agree or disagree with the indictments. But the fact that Hillary Clinton is laughing about it, it's because she needs to jump on those coattails of Donald Trump once again to render herself relevant. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work out the way that she might anticipate. Right, 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 right. You guys. The ones who were obsessed with Hillary Clinton, her emails, that political hit job for years, for years you were obsessed with Hillary Clinton and she was never president of the United States. You guys are going to tell us that we are obsessed with Donald Trump and you're going to try to tell us how we should feel. (laughs) Oh, you guys are so ridiculous. You guys aren't serious. It's really funny how all of these uh, commentators who rode Donald Trump's coattails uh, into the White House, who he himself rode the coattails of Hillary Clinton by just hanging on and just relentlessly trying to stab her in the back. They want to tell Hillary Clinton that she's riding the coattails of Donald Trump. They are so twisted and demented. It is insane. Kaylee McKenney also was very troubled by Hillary Clinton's appearance on MSNBC. And Stacey Abrams is gov- is not the governor of Georgia. Last time I checked, but she believes she was. And people boycotted that state because of it. The movie industry on down. And there's nothing illegal to your point about asking questions about about an election. That is fair. That happens every election cycle from local to national politics. So uh, some of the charges that you read through, and again, I'm not a lawyer, uh, but when you read through it, you think, well, of of course, questions were raised. Questions were asked. That happens every four years, every two years. I don't see what's illegal about that. I think that that's fair game in politics. Let me just say, if I'm wrong, it's so gross to see her laughing positively giddy. I watched CNN after the third indictment. I flipped it on briefly, laughing, cackling about this. Like, is this good for America, guys, to indict a former president? I remember Mark Levin saying his former boss, the attorney general in the documents case, would have picked up the phone if it would have been a Democrat president and said, get those documents back to me. It's bad for the country. It's bad for parties. We're at a crucible point in our country where everyone's at one another's throats. Um, we had to diffuse the tensions. And watching Hillary Clinton laugh, CNN commentators laugh, this isn't a laughing moment. It's a sad moment for our country. And I think that's something we should all agree on. Well, they're gleeful because they think that their side is going to win based on this. Because of what you Kaylee McKenney, the woman who lied for years on behalf of this criminal, again, is going to have the audacity to tell us how we should feel. It is so pathetic. Kaylee, you are so pathetic. I can't stress this enough. I I love watching you break down into, oh, we should be sad today. You know, It's really possible for uh, all of us who have been uh, who survived the darkest years uh, in America's 
history, you could argue, with Donald Trump and COVID. Uh, it's entirely uh, possible for plausible for us to feel happiness that this man is finally, uh, you know, uh, the, the chickens are coming home to roost. Uh, and it's also plausible for us to feel sadness that he was able to take it this far and that you enabled him. Kaylee, right? See, that's the problem. All these, all these tools over on Fox News who enabled this guy, uh, they're the ones who want to tell us that this is the sad day. Like, you've got to be kidding me. It, it is time for you to zip it and watch the trial. Because this is what you did. This is what you enabled. The Tommy Larens, the Kaylee McCannanies, the Fox Newses, the Fox and Friends. They don't like it because they're losing and they're finally being punished for their crimes. And they want to tell us that we need to be sad for them. Nope.